Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And first of all, guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share. Of course, you can always contribute to the channel if you click on the link description. You can contribute via PayPal or join us on a live chat, guys, tomorrow. The catch up and drop drop your super chat there. And of course, if you want to join Bet US, you can always click on the link description and scan the qr code to join bet us and you get a special promo especially on that but guys let's get straight into it because it is manchester united free asna one yes manchester united finally finally shutting those arsenal fans up yes and i'm happy because Manchester picked up three points against what asna asna the team that starts with a r s starts with us and I finish off with no, bruv. You get me, guys. I'm so happy, so delighted for Manchester United to beat Arsenal. Because why? Those Arsenal fans like to chat shit. All of a sudden, because you got five wins and five, and Man United lost their first two games, you want to start trolling on us, huh? Guys, I am not shameless, but I am going to be shameless on this. You are going to get it, bruv. Arsenal getting wiped out. Ben Shite, you're my ass. Gabriel. G Gabriel Jesus, you didn't even get Gabriel Jesus today. Angel Gabriel was nowhere near to be found to save you guys. You got Jesus in your side and Jesus never helps you on a Sunday. You make me sick. Pathetic. Woo! Manchester United showing Arsenal what they're made of. And this, that was a team. Eric Ten Hag, Eric Ten Bull. Yes, Eric Ten Hag doing exactly what he's meant to do. Building up a team. Anthony who? Anthony who? Yes, 100 million euros down the drain and Anthony has scored again. For those who put the Anthony slander on him, Anthony slander in the bin, scoring on his debut. Overall, I fought the team in the first 45 minutes, started off brilliantly in the 15 minutes, bringing, putting on the onus on, on Arsenal. But then when Arsenal got their goal, which was a VAR decision, which we'll talk about it in a bit, yes, it changed things. But then eventually Manchester United scored, but it was a pretty much an even game. The second half, Manchester United started off poorly, but you just saw it coming from Arsenal that we can concede if we're not careful because Arsenal are a good team and a good side. But yes, after conceding, Manchester United showed exactly what they're made of. Couple of split passes from Bruno Fernandez, exceptional. Eriksen, exceptional. That made a difference. Sir Marcus Rashford doing what he does best, helping charity, feeding the goal of Arsenal and Manchester United winning that game. Brilliant, guys. I have to say the performance was good from the guys. Eric Ten Hag, what a man, what a guy he is, you know, to just strive and direct this team and this these boys into another win. And it's a brilliant win for Manchester United. Going into the game, guys, yes, the game started off with a VAR being disallowed. Yes, Martellini's goal being disallowed. Of course, in my opinion, yes, the people want to play the Premier League aggressive. But to me, I'll be honest with you, without being biased, Oh, the God, that was a foul on Ericsson. Yes, from the back as well. Very dirty and I wasn't liking it. I didn't enjoy it. And it was rightly so. The goal was disallowed. But when Arsenal scored, things did change. Manchester United were a bit sloppy and wary. They knew exactly that they, they were in for a game. But then comes Anthony making his debut. Scoring on his debut. Brilliant. Rashford finding Anthony again. Sir Marcus Rashford with the assist. A man in the match. Worthy performance. But I'll tell you why. I didn't give him a man in the match. Yes, Anthony slipping, being slipped through for a wonderful cool finish. And love the celebrations. Yes. Celebrating one of those Arsenal fans. Kissing the Manchester United badge. Pissing off an Arsenal fan. That's what I told a signing. A good start. Yes, 100 million euros down the drain. And he showed you what he's made about. Halftime Manchester United. 1-0. Going to second half. We're thinking we need to get the second goal to end the game. But Bakayo Saka equalising. Brilliant pass from Odegaard to find... Trying to find Gabriel Jesus, but Jesus and Dallo went through a madness with Dallo ending up giving the ball to Saka, passing it, gifting him on the plate for Saka to finish it off. From there, Manchester United fans and me were pissed. We're pissed because we can see Arsenal coming back. But did Arsenal come back? No, they didn't. Because why Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes with that pass to Marcus Rashford to clear him off clear on goal marcus rashford had all the time guys all the time to think and you're thinking 
Please, Rashford, don't miss this. You've had so much time to think. And when Mar- Marcus Rashford has so much time to think, he ends up missing it. But he slots it in. A cool, calm finish by Sir Marcus Rashford to feed the goal of Arsenal as he's been feeding kids throughout the whole nation for the last two years. And then again... Uh, because I have to say, first of all, guys, bringing up to that second that goal from Marcus Rashford, brilliant first time pass by Ericsson to Bruno for Bruno to find that brilliant pass. Second goal again, Bruno split pass from nowhere again to find Ericsson. Ericsson threw on goal, slots it in and slides it in for Rashford to tap it in, and Rashford makes it three one to Manchester United. What a win! Full time Manchester United free Arsenal one and Manchester United could have made it even more because they were going for it, guys. They were going and going for it, looking for the, to kill off Arsenal. But yes, we save Arsenal for another day. Arsenal, you got it up the ass today. Up your assholes. You get me, you assholes. Yes, I am loving it. Manchester United winning the game three one. Brilliant. In terms of players today, I thought Anthony in his debut did particularly well in the first 45 minutes, showing off his skills as well, showing off that samba, but then getting the goal and showing the passion. Even he's closing down his work rate, he's, he's good at it as well. He can he can press, and I like that about Anthony. McTominay, brilliant first half. 100% pass accuracy, 100% duels won and everything. McTominay was a player that I've never seen before. But then again, getting his customary yellow card. What can you say, Rashford? Brilliant. Two goals and assists. Bruno, two assists. Ericsson, exceptional. <sighs> Man in the match today, guys, has to go to Bruno Fernandes, in my opinion. It could have easily went to Ericsson, who got the Sky Sports Man in the match, but those passes, exquisite. Bruno was everywhere today, fighting everything. Don't give the match. Harry Maguire had to come on and get a yellow card and look shaky. What a joke, man. Manchester United fans, it is looking slightly better for Manchester United. You know, we've been winning 1-0, 1-0, 2-1, and now we've finally annihilated the team. Three goals to one, and that happens to be Arsenal. And it had to be a team like that. I want it to be Arsenal. I wanted Arsenal to get all this smoke so I can troll on the Arsenal fan tomorrow from morning at work. Arsenal fans, calling sick. Don't go to school. You know, new week, school starts again. Don't bother calling in. Like, don't even bother. Just go AWOL. If I was you, Arsenal fans, go AWOL. Delete yourself on Instagram. Log out because your boy is going to troll you. I've ruined Spice. will troll the hell out of Arsenal fans. I'm going to enjoy it. But we're back again tomorrow for the catch-up. 79 at 8 p.m. UK time. Then we've got the watch-along Europa League Real Sociedad Thursday as well, guys. But it has been a one. You do let me know who your man in the match was, your donkey in the match. What you thought of today's game as well. What impressed you? Was Anthony debut the one as well, guys? As always, remember to subscribe as, and, and smash the like button and share across all social media platforms. Remember to keep it united because I am. And remember to keep it red united. Peace!